you said you're talking about hospitals ramping up their bed capacity. Pero ang isa nilang malaking problema, they've been telling us about it, ay kulang na kulang sila ng health personnel. Kumusta naman po yan in that area? What, what, are, what are we doing? Yes. Uh, ay yung, yung ano, very, that's very true po, Ma, uh, mamami, ano? kasi uh, one hospital, if you have to uh, convert a certain uh, wing or a certain ward to become uh, uh, a COVID ward, uh, it, it takes a different uh, uh, proportion in terms of human resource kasi may mga rotation na yan, every 14 days, times 2 na yan, eh, times 2 or 2.5 of the human personnel. Kaya nga minsan, uh, pag uh, nagko-convert sila, yung mga uh, areas nila for non-COVID, uh, they, they try to uh, decrease this so that the, the manpower will be shifted. But uh, of course, uh, there is always a lack in terms of the manpower. And uh, we have been, uh, I think, uh, for, the, for the NCR, we were able to position uh, almost 5,000 or 3,000 plus, 3,000 uh, healthcare workers to augment the different public and the private hospitals. And um, we are again saying uh, to, uh, to the DBM, we wrote them, that uh, we need again another augmentation to continue this uh, number of nurses that we position for the national capital region. At the same time, increase this so that uh, there will be more uh, healthcare workers for uh, uh, not just for the hospitals, but also as vaccinators and uh, the surveillance. So uh, I think uh, uh, this is now with the DBM, and I think uh, they will uh, be very much optimistic that uh, we will get the funding for this. You're talking about new hires, or are you moving personal again? Kasi pati sa mga probinsya, kumalat na yung Delta. Oh, are new hires, ma'am. We are, we are proposing, actually, aside from the, the 10,500 that we already shown across the country, and that's, we need to... Uh, uh, ano, extend their services uh, and it ha meaning to say until December. So we are asking for uh, you know funding for the extension of the services plus new hires because we know for a fact that there are now hospitals writing to us uh, to provide them with the necessary healthcare workers and we are trying to do this uh, 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 new hires uh, with this new funding if it, uh, it comes uh, so that we will be able to uh, uh, you know, uh, provide the different institutions. How much po yon yung new mm. funding? How much? Uh, total all, uh, total po sa, sa new hires to, together with the vaccinators, together with the uh, healthcare workers, pati yung mga biosurveillance team, that's about mga 3.3 billion po across the country. Pero yan po yung, yung total. When it comes down to the individual packages being offered uh, to, to nurses, uh, for example, may nagbago po ba? Because, I mean, because this is one of the things that, you know, we, I know the health sector has been trying to, to figure out. Because on the one hand, we have a surplus of nurses and we have a shortage of nurses uh, at the same time. And they always say it, it comes down to the money, it comes down to the to the to the to the package how is, is this emergency hiring and this extra fund how is this supposed to be different from all of these months na maraming mga nurses na hindi pa rin pumapasok sa workforce uh, uh, ang, uh, ang ang ano naman ang uh, ang uh, position sa uh, say for a nurse uh, and the, the salary that goes with it is actually standardized if you're a nurse one hired then you you are you we will be given a nurse one uh, position mm -hmm. and with a certain salary you know uh, that's a standard for government and the the the, the thing the thing is uh, the salaries for the government side like for a nurse one let's put it at uh, 35000 or uh, even 40 um, and the, the salary grade of uh, a nurse in a private institution is really way below. Yeah, so uh, it's mm. about 15. Mm. So uh, th there is a parang internal migration yes. of uh, nurses uh, coming from the private sector towards the government because uh, it's more, uh, you know, the, the salary, uh, the rates are kind of higher. And uh, this is also what we have been saying that uh, uh, the, the private sector has been complaining about this, but uh, uh, you know, because of this kind of uh, migration to the word towards the, the to the government, but uh, uh, we we have been also saying to them that in this time of crisis, uh, uh, whatever needs that you have, uh, especially for the human resources, we can we will be able to uh, 
support you uh, through the uh, different regions. So it's the creation and the opening of these new positions in the public health sector. That's, that's the difference now. Yes, yes, right. right. Oh. Okay. So, saan ayaw kukunin yung pondo, yung, yung pinapropose ninyo? That's an emergency. Sa DBM. Uh, that's uh, actually po, nasa, uh, sa DBM po. So, I, I wouldn't know where they will source the funding, but uh, if they're talking of a biennial entry, that, uh, that may be very possible. Mm -hmm. um, sir, balikan ko lang po, naalala ko lang. You, so, if we create these new positions, these new openings uh, for public hospitals in the public health sector, um, given what you discussed nga rin po sa private hospitals, how do we ensure that it doesn't have the unintended consequences, uh, the unintended consequence of more internal migration from private hospitals to, to ano, when we say new hires, how do we ensure that those are in fact new hires and hindi lang tayo lalo nag entice ng more uh, nurses from the private sector just moving to the public, uh, to the public sector? Uh, 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 marami kasi nga, no? there are new graduates now, especially uh, with the recent uh, passage of uh, uh, the new nurses right now. Uh, that's, our, that's our first, uh, that's where our recruitment would be, especially uh, yung mga new nurses na uh, dumating ngayon. And then also there are new nurses coming back from abroad, uh, which we can also tap. So uh, ito yung, ano, these are the, uh, the areas that uh, we are looking into in terms of Pero sir, what's to stop a private sector nurse from uh, from applying with the public sector? Kung doubling the doubling sahod niya, I mean, uh, in the end, could, could you or would you uh, stop them from moving over? No, we can't. Uh, there are two things. Uh, in, that's internal migration, and the other is the mm -hmm. external migration when they go uh, mm -hmm. for a higher pay abroad. So those are the kind of uh, uh, you know those are the dynamics in terms of uh, especially with uh, the healthcare professionals. Yes, sir. Well, I asked about that because uh, although in the end, you might have uh, good numbers across the board uh, in terms of nurses, but you might naman have so many nurses in the public sector or the public hospitals. Tapos, uh, uh, bakante naman sa private hospitals where there are, uh, oh. there are facilities and, and beds available. So you might have that kind of an imbalance naman. Uh, how would you prevent that? Yeah, uh, but, but the thing is, uh, with the private institutions, especially the level three private institutions, uh, what actually attracts uh, some of the nurses, even if uh, the salary is low, is because of the training and uh, mm -hmm. the training that they will have. And this will actually position them for a better kind of uh, uh, job abroad or, or, abroad. or, or, or the transfer. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's the training that they acquire. It's uh, Sometimes it's not as the... Uh, the, uh, the salary that goes with it, but, uh, but the training and, uh, you know, the, uh, the kind of, uh, uh, of, 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 of work that they'll be doing in that institution, mm -hmm. like a specialty, like a dialysis nurse, or, yeah. or she, she can be uh, paid uh, not as much as a government dialysis nurse, but she knows that the it's hospital experience. is mm -hmm. accredited abroad, you know, and that he has, she will have a good training. So that's, that's really a, a real come on.